glad you're we, okay. But yeah, I mean, geez. Um, we continue to look at the live look of downtown Nashville behind us, believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, that's what that is. Right? Hasn't changed a bit. Skyline's in there somewhere. Yeah. You just can't make it out this morning. Paul, what's going on? It's foggy. It's real foggy. <laughs> you can't see a thing downtown. Now, you can see a little bit in Clarksville. This camera perspective downtown Clarksville shows the fog in the distance, but it's not quite as up close and personal as it is here in West Nashville. Our station's perspective, well, it's actually improved. Yes, this is an improvement because you can actually see some trees in the distance on our hilltop before you could barely make out the satellite dishes in the foreground. So that shows that the fog is still real thick, but it is going to start to mix around a little bit as winds pick up into the south. The sun comes up in less than an hour. That'll help too. But for now, you can anticipate running into some really thick fog here. Half mile to one mile visibility is widespread across the northern half of the midstate in southern Kentucky and some pockets of quarter mile visibility embedded with that as well. That's why we have the dense fog advisory for much of the midstate, basically those same areas until nine o'clock this morning. Temperatures very mild for this time of year, mid to upper 40s, which would be normal if this was the middle of the afternoon in mid January. 49 degrees in Nashville, the average high is 47. 54 degrees in Leoma, 55 degrees in Hohenwald. Those are the warm spots. Everybody's going to warm up, though, especially once the fog is gone. We'll see some sunshine. Temperatures will make it up to around 70 for highs this afternoon. Record is 74, so we'll give it a run, but not quite there yet. Better rain chance shaping up as we head into the evening and overnight hours. Bumped it up a little bit slightly earlier. Earlier. By 10 o'clock, I think more of us will be seeing showers in the neighborhood than not. The best chance continues to be overnight into very early tomorrow morning. A few rumbles of thunder, but nothing severe expected. We'll keep an eye on that for you just in case. Another chance of rain heads our way Wednesday night and early Thursday. Warmer than normal temperatures continue for at least the next seven days. Melanie? All right, well, checking for Wharton traffic, our interstate's all looking clear.